What's up, everyone? I'm Offending Combat. I'm back with another tour. I'm here with Demon Kitty. How's it going, Demon Kitty? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing fantabulous. Just kind of taking a lay of the land here. First off, I mean, my goodness. Yeah, Paley is yelling at me about my controller. I don't even care because I like my controller. <laughs> It's so good to uh, to use it for for camera controls, but yeah, right off the bat, uh, I like your mix of trees. I feel Thank like you're you. you're already like you're already prepared for fall, you know. I dressed for the occasion, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like. Hello, friend. <laughs> that's my spirit animal right here. I love them. Yes. I think they're so cute. So. Uh, you are my tour guide. I'll follow you. Okay, so this, uh, I call this plot the Kitty Commune. Uh, basically, Ooh. it's it's kind of like the idea is that like a bunch of artisans kind of live here and do their thing and sell their wares, you know? Oh, yeah. So, I get that. So I kind of, you know, did some like cute branding with my little walkway here just to be a little yes. different. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, and... Over here is my uh, cake party setup. Oh, cake parties, recipes. Yeah, I know. But you know, you can do a lot of cooking here. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's still fun to cook with friends. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I like, like to integrate it. You know. Yeah, I like I like how everything is is set up here. You got a nice nice display, and I know uh, I know I've mentioned. Like, I, I I never really know what to do with the chests, but I love to see what people do with them and just kind of, they fit in, I, you know? It's like, I've never had a game where you're just like, hey, that treasure chest that you just unlocked, by the way, you get to keep it. <laughs> okay, well now what do yeah. I do with it? Yeah, there's interesting things you can do, you know? Um, like, you, I like to use them to give height to other things. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just for like some, like I, I mentioned before, my vibe is very just clutter core. Everything, <laughs> everywhere, all the time. Yes, everything, uh, everywhere, all at once. That is my brain. Yeah. So like, obviously this is kind of like, the idea is that it's like a restaurant kind of, like there's oh, service yeah, like outdoor that. everywhere. And like, I kind of wanted some of these to feel like communal tables. Like maybe there's two different groups sitting here, you know, like you just kind of sit where you fit. <laughs> but I love how you have, yes, I, I just, I'm loving how you have a different chair for every single seat. Yes, I like mismatching a yes. lot. Um, I don't like, I don't think that there's a single room you'll see where everything is like matched color wise. Oh yeah. I just feel like it's more interesting that way for yes. me personally. No, no, um, I, I totally. Totally understand. It's it's uh, you know, as as my wife says, uh, no 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 matchy matchy. It's got to be mixy matchy. Yeah, because who lives like that, right? Like right. you feel like you live in a museum that way. So it's just like I got some tables kind of scattered around here. Some people, you know, like maybe these people are having like a little taco and hot dog day. You know, like I did taco persons. and hot dog day. Yeah, like this person is like that one jerk who always steals the big table just for themselves, you know? <laughs> so there's always that guy. Always that guy. Yeah. Um, don't ask what the so, hot dogs are made out of. No, you no. don't want to know. Mm -mm. But I will say they're kosher. You know, kosher. we had a rabbi come in and bless, so. Sweet. <laughs> uh, but that's basically this side over here. I, I love how um, you have everything laid out. Thanks. Uh, I don't like I don't use fences a lot um, and I don't do like a lot of forced pathing because I kind of want people to just wander. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, that's cool. I'm a professional and, meander. <laughs> and I also I'm just like terrified of the uh, item limits. So <laughs> that's a fair <laughs> point. So, yeah, just. That's not something to take for granted either, because like, you know, there are a lot of folks that love the fences and stuff and they love to bunch them together but there's a cost so yeah that's something to take away from this you know if, if y'all are watching this right 
you can do more if you don't have fences. Yeah. yeah. I have like some little tricks like that. Like I tend to leave things like in my machinery so that it doesn't eat up storage space. Yeah. So like my preservers are usually full, like my wood chopper is always full. Like that way I get, you know, a few hundred extra items here and there. I love this dessert bar. Yes, I love all of those things. They just, they're so cute. They are. I had to buy so many of them because I was scared of not having access to them for a year. <laughs> I hear it's coming back. I don't know yeah. when. That's why I'm saying if it's a year, like, yikes, that's too long. Yeah, maybe it's a quarterly thing, we hope. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, so this is my little farm area. Ah, very neat. Very, very organized. Are you and big into thing... like the, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say, um, are you are you big into like the farm engineering, like just the water retention? Really, I don't mind pulling a few weeds and getting a few extra gold for that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm back here often enough for it anyway, um, but I just do the water retention and I do fertilizer either for speed or for harvest, depending. Excellent. Just kind of meander back here. Yeah. So just from a distance okay from the distance the way that the leaves are hitting this one one deer on the right it almost looked like a his and hers you know yeah yeah <laughs> I, these two i feel like are a little couple you know yeah. they can come munch on this little meat that i left here for them couple of derps yeah as long as they don't eat my veggies they can have the meat yeah sweet uh yeah so i do have like some uh, seed makers back here just for convenience to toss them in. Nice. Uh, but other than that, I do try to like work my machines kind of into the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. You'll see that more inside. Yeah. Yeah, I like uh, one it. Thing, yeah, one thing I wanted to mention, I saw in your other tour, you were talking about watering. Yes. And you can actually get water from this well. That's oh, what I was nice. telling you. Like I wanted to get the well. Uh, so you don't have to have your farm super close to your little pond. That's cool. That's good to know. I'm sure a lot of people it's, will be like, ooh. Yeah. It's crazy expensive, but it's doable. I yeah, the things that they the things that they put, you know, dangle in front of us. Carrot yeah. or donut, depending on what motivates you. Yeah. So that's my laundry. Don't look at it. It's ugly. No, oh, I don't what laundry. <laughs> uh so this is the main entryway to the house over here. Excellent. All right. Ooh. Buffet fit for the queen. Yeah, this I feel like these are like the lower high end tables over here where they actually like get service, whereas like the other ones are kind of like walk up and find your spot. Oh yeah, so kind of the, the chef's table, right? Yeah, that's why they have so much nice food on that table. Excellent. Uh, but feel free to head on in and to the first room you'll kind of, I think, right off get like the vibe that I'm Ooh. doing here. What are their names? Do you have names for these? I don't have names for these. Okay, uh, I'm, I just I'm silly. Think that they're just cute. Like... No, I, I do name things, but I didn't name these guys. <laughs> All right. Ooh. <laughs> Very. So... I, right off the bat, I like your <laughs> sight lines that you have. That's really cool. Thanks. Uh, so like I said, this is kind of like my idea is that this is where they're selling all the stuff that they make, you know? Yeah. Uh, so it's like a good variety, you know? I like it. Chappas have wares if you have coin. Yes. Um, and again, you'll see like I did use some more of your, your favorite chests back here uh, to kind of make it feel like, oh, you know, they're storing some stuff. Yeah. You know calling it around yeah but, hidden, but, but you don't so. yeah totally hidden i like <laughs> i like how that's how that's hidden just taking yeah. a look at the front here how you have everything organized and you got a nice little uh, uh they've reached quorum <laughs> yes yes obviously she's the decision maker oh yeah she's got the fancy hat so she does he's gonna he's gonna buy her whatever she says she wants <laughs> Uh, and then if you come through here, this is like the fancy spendy stuff. Like, oh, wait, what? That's cool. That's that's a really nice touch. Like just 
like this by appointment only. Ah, uh, I didn't realize this was like I, I saw into it. I thought this was like another part of the house, but wow. Very well done. Nice, nicely hidden. Nicely hidden. This is a very, very luxurious place. Yeah, I just kind of wanted somewhere to show off, you know, some of the more interesting items that you get from like befriending villagers and stuff like that. Um, and some of the artwork didn't really like fit the vibe of this house. Right. Um, so it's more like this is for sale, you know, as opposed to what we would live with here. Right. Yeah. These are these are the the high class items, top shelf. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Very nicely laid out and well hidden. That was a nice touch. Yeah, I was messing with these curtains forever. I know everyone's had problems with them, and I got them to stick there, but I didn't like that you could see the corners, so I threw up the bellflower banners. Since they matched, I felt like it kind of made it like even like more of like a grand little, like, ooh, this is a secret area, you know? Yeah, no, it's 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 it surprised me definitely. That was awesome. So this is the kitchen. Uh, this is actually the first room that I did. Uh, yeah, like I that's... said, I am clutter obsessed. <laughs> no, this is this is cool. This is this is cool clutter. And you got you got a recipe book. You got all of your knickknacks. Yeah. Yeah, basically, like as I kind of built things, I just what it, the things that I liked, you know, the, from crafting, I threw them up and kind of just moved them around as I went. <clears throat> uh, again, because of like the constraints with storage, right. I tend to craft a lot, even if it's not something I need at the moment, since they don't take up storage. Uh, and then I just fill up my storage with furniture and whenever I need something, I just go rifle through to see what I have. That's cool. That's really cool. I I do really like how everything is is laid out, you know? And it it totally feels uh, it totally feels lived in. And I think that's a I think that's really cool just to kind of see how people take the same items, you know, that that the other people have, you know, in the game and they to use them in very different and very creative ways. That's I think that's just really cool. I think it's ironic too because uh, one of the first tours that I I did, uh, their first room in the house was the kitchen, and that's cool. I, that's that's uh, that says a lot about you, you know. I think a lot of people start with the kitchen. They say it's the heart of the home and all of that, and. Yeah. It's, I don't know, I feel like for me at least, it definitely kind of like set the vibe of what I wanted going here. Mm -hmm. um, that it's just very like thrown together. Like I wish I had more makeshift stuff. I've been fishing for what feels like a thousand years and mm -hmm. still haven't gotten some of the things I want. So that's yeah. kind of a bummer, but kind of gives me something to keep going for, I guess. I always um, gotta have something to work towards. Yeah. Oh, tell me about this room. So this is my craft room. And I kind of, like I said, I wanted it to feel like I make things here. Like I wanted to incorporate like my machines and make it feel like they're not just there because I need them, but they're like part of the build. Right. Uh, you know, so like in here I can like do my crafting. Like I wanted it to look like there's someone here who's like a potter who's, you know, painting these and, and selling them, you know, um, I wanted it to look like this is kind of like a crazy inventor over here in the corner with like machinery making something funky, you know. And this is why I like to do tours on voice. Like you get so much backstory behind it. That's so cool. This is very cool. This is very cool. I like this. I like this little. This corner caught my eye just because of the the colors and how you have just everything's packed into this nice, nice little area. 
Yeah, I mean, you need access to all your like herbs and like everything to to make stuff with. So right. you need to be able to wash your hands. So like, I'm like I said, I'm big on packing things, but I also am big on being able to access them still. Right. So right. like, you could still get in there and use the sink. You know, um, like I like. I'm not f- necessarily like form over function, but kind of an equal measure, if mm-hmm. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Where do you find yourself most in your house? Probably in my farm, because mm-hmm. um, I do well in my farm. And then I come in here a lot, obviously, to like make stuff. I mm-hmm. actually do enjoy being in this room to yeah. make things, um, not just like using like a very utilitarian workspace right uh yeah it's fun you know it's like bright colors and i don't know like it just it makes me happy to like see all the pretty colors you know yeah i totally get that that's cool this room Uh, this this, this room is just like oh this is cool so this is kind of like where i envision like when like gina gives you like stuff to come you know do your experiments on or whatever or maybe like tamala asks you for help with like her witchy beauty cream or whatever like this is where you'd come oh Um, oh whoa that's cool that's a cool use of hallway yeah i like i said i super packed it um and i turned off like i wanted more hanging stuff ideally it would be more like foliage Mm -hmm. but there's not that option so I may do with what there is. That's um, packed. That's cool. Yeah. But I like yeah, you know, really just, just when I was turning around, sorry. Uh just oh, no. just like catching that, you know, and it's and it's just the wallpaper being that it, the fact that it's kind of a parallax wallpaper and then you see this this yeah. additional space. That's really cool. That's cool. I'm I'm quickly run out of adjectives. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I wanted this to feel almost like it's like a porch. That's why this wall is um, is like you know meant to look like wood, and this is like you're meant to be kind of outside, like maybe on like a bit of a covered porch or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and really like played with the lighting in here. Um, again, like I really want that makeshift indoor garden to replace this table. I think it would look super cool. Yeah, but I've. But it works too because of the purple, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So someday it will be mine, just not someday. today. Uh, it's very Wayne's so, world. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this is an exit. We can do this before we go to the other side of the house. Okay. Um, so this is like, I, you know, have my little pie cooling there. Yeah. I know. I was like, first thing I was like, oop, yep, there's pie. <laughs> pie alert. Yeah, and uh, my worm farms that are kind of, you know, a little outdated now that the nerf has happened, but, you know, they still do their job. They make me some good fertilizer. Yeah. And uh, out here is just like a little outdoor sitting area. I kind of felt like um, this looked like, you know, a little outdoor heater, kind of. Oh, Uh, right, right. I get that. It's a chimney. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say chimney, but sometimes people don't know what I mean when I say that. So nah, I'm from San Antonio. I, I get it. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, and this is my like kind of little guest house area. I, since... <laughs> I love this. This this is cool. This is really cool because it's like, you know, first thing you get is a tent and then everyone expects, you know, OK, well, I'm going to upgrade to the house after this. But the uses that people have come up for this this is really cool nice little uh guest guest house yeah you want them to feel cozy and like have their own space right so uh you put you know i put kind of like a little kitchenette and uh just wanted it to feel just as cozy as it does inside uh you know out here yeah i like this this is really really nice very nicely laid out and uh, yeah, and I gave them a little, little fire pit seating area as well. Rest the marshmallows, have some hot chocolate. Yeah. Uh, and then we can go to the other side of the house, which is where uh, I envisioned that like I would live, basically. Okay. 
and so it's not quite as cluttered here because you know we live here yes so yes you want to put things away a little bit not have as much stuff oh, and this fish does have a name interesting use of the uh yeah this is like secret secret entrance or just you wanted to have the the look of those kind of doors right the old wooden doors <laughs> Yeah, I wanted it to kind of look like doors. I'm bummed that we still can't put stuff on these shelves. Mm. Um, but again, I wanted it to have a little bit of privacy back here since, the, you know, I kind of think of this as like a little market area. Right. Like, you don't want them looking into your house necessarily. No, that, that would that would be uncivilized. Yeah. What if I'm over here taking a nap or something? They don't need to know. Right. This is awesome. Totally, totally cozy. And I do like your use of lighting too. I forgot to mention like uh, the, the the witchy room, the lighting that you were using uh, against the, the orange trees. That was a really nice effect. Thanks, yeah, I like to play with that. And I mean, it does take a lot of kind of trial and error, I think. Mm -hmm. um, Cause some of these lights are so soft and then some of them are so harsh. Yes. Um, some so kind of the couches of are them. giant. Yeah. Some of the chairs are really tiny. Right. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it gives you something to play with and like, see what you can achieve. Like that's kind of my thing. It's like, I like, you like looking at things. Tinker yeah. And experiment. And, yeah. Like I said, like, you know, having, seeing other people's houses and like what they do, it's like everyone has a different perspective and like might see something in an item that you don't that's kind of neat you know yeah it is it is that's always been one of my favorite parts about just doing these tours is the inspiration that people get from each other that's so much fun. yeah so much fun yeah so this is where we come like wind down and relax after we've been hard at work making all of our stuff yeah jams make some make some jams and then have a jam session exactly and i utterly fail at heavy metal choppa it's like the most infuriating game i've ever played i think uh, yeah i think there i think a lot of people <laughs> feel the same way i like your storage area that's that's really creative just like all right this is where we're putting stuff yeah i kind of feel like you know everyone has like those junk drawer kind of things you mm -hmm. know um and you know you don't have to be so precious with with everything you know that's a you good kind word of, yeah. yeah you can just kind of be a little a little messy feels a little more lived in right realistic um, yeah and then back here i wanted to make my bedroom just slightly bigger uh so i stole a little bit of space from that room Ooh, nice touch um but yeah, so this is like, I deserve a little bit of a fancy bedroom after all that work, you know? Yeah. You got the, you got the chase bed. Everybody want that bed. Well, yeah, I got super lucky. I think that was like my third uh, lucky item from the Miracle, Miracle Machine or whatever it's called. And mm -hmm. ever since then, nothing but seeds. So <laughs> what a nice little bathroom area. Yeah, and I love that you can fill the tubs now. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. like that little extra ambiance, you know. Right. You got the steam, it's ready for a nice bath, and you just need a bath bomb. Good to go. Yeah. And I like littering like all these little like snacks and things about again cuz it kind of feels like, oh, like I was eating my cinnamon roll and then I had to go to work and I forgot it there, you know. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. Uh, and then this will take us back out to basically the farm. Just, I love, yeah. The creativity that people have for tiny spaces is, is awesome. So awesome. Yeah, I really like that. Um, like I tried to, I know a lot of people have been doing this cause we don't have bushes, like just tuck some flowers to like give some kind of foliage effect. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and I will say that, you know, uh, 
I'd like to think that Singularity 6, or at least somebody from Singularity 6, um, watches these tours and sees how people use the items in, uh, in unintended ways, right? So that helps drive development of the game, right? So this is kind of like, you can, you can pretty much, you can pretty much just think that someone, someone eventually is going to watch this and say, Hey, why don't we have this item in the game? Cause they used it in this way. That's really cool. Yeah. I think that they kind of, uh, you know, I, it seems like they listen or at least to a certain degree. Right. And, yeah. uh, can kind of see like what the community wants you listen know. with limits <laughs> yeah, well i mean i feel like the devs kind of get like a lot of flack sometimes that like they're doing their best you know oh yeah and they're making something that we all obviously enjoy like if we didn't enjoy it as much we wouldn't be complaining right <laughs> that's a very very fair point yeah if you're <laughs> we wouldn't be complaining if we weren't enjoying it <laughs> right because otherwise it'd be like eh i can do something else yeah, never mind. I'm going to go back to The Sims or Animal Crossing or Dinkum or whatever, you know? Yes, yes. Uh, Do you play Dinkum? I don't. I, uh, I've i had it on my to-do list for a while, but I have, like, probably five or six other games that I'm actively playing. I gotcha. And, yeah, like, the last month, I think, has basically been soaked up into Palea. Oh, yeah. I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. I can totally 100% vouch for it. Um, and if you're curious, I got lots of lots of little videos on my channel and also my wife's Ellie Jelly. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. I definitely want to check them out. Um, like I said, like I love this kind of thing. I think it's just a nice kind of creative outlet for people. And it's super fun to like meet other people who are into that and like have like community in that way. Yeah, absolutely. All right, everyone. If you haven't already done so, you know what to do. I don't need to tell you. I mean, it's YouTube, right? So um, I will all see you later and catch me next time for a tour. Bye, everyone.